today's episode, we are joined by Melinda Shankar. And how are you? I am good. It's very early, but I just had my coffee and I'm ready to go. So basically, I just want to say congratulations on Degrassi. This is now your fifth year and the premiere just happened. How do you feel about it? It's a little weird being like the veteran, like I've been on for five years, but prior to that I was a big fan growing up in Ottawa, as you know, fellow Ottawan. Um, and I used to always watch the show, and when I came on I was like the new Niner Miner was my name, um, with the three other cast members, and now I'm like the older one, and I'm the one that people look up to, like ask me questions, and I'm like, oh, I remember my days, and it's just weird to think I've been, I moved five years ago, and like, I've built this bond with everyone, and now they're like my, my Toronto family, my friends, my coworkers, like my everything. So it's nice to like build the empire with them and have new kids come along and just grow. That's really cool. That's really good. So I've basically had my experience through uh, entertainment, through fashion and commercial modeling. And being a black model, I've definitely had to co- um, overcome certain hurdles and obstacles. And I wanted to ask you, like. How has it been being a West Indian actress and have you had to overcome any obstacles or what's your experience been, good or bad? For me, it's bittersweet. Um, When I first started off, I was still living in Ottawa with a smaller agency and the auditions, like I would have, I went to the agency with a girlfriend of mine who was Caucasian and she would have like so many more auditions that I would. Um, And for the first year of being signed to the agency, I didn't have any auditions. So it's fewer auditions like I think even to this day being five years into the industry I've had maybe 15 auditions where some of my friends will go on like 10 a week but the bonus to that is like there's so few West Indian girls or I play I play Guyanese I play Indian I play like Egyptian anything that I look like or that I can fit in open roles I do and so whenever they do whenever they're looking for someone that I fit into that characteristic I pretty much like not get the job automatically but I'm always like getting an audition or call back or for me like I've pretty much been busy back to back with Degrassi and how to be in D six months and six months since I've moved so I got lucky I think. So you're from Orleans you now you live in Toronto but your background's Guyanese so let me ask you if I ask you to make me some curry gourd or ruoti or rice and peas can you do that? I can tell you where you can buy the best uh, of that in Toronto, and I can also direct you to my father, who can cook really well. Um, the Shankar girls have gotten a little bit spoiled. My dad's like the Superman who does like the planting and the sewing, and he's like the one who owns karate schools. Like he's like this Superman, and all the girls just go to him to do everything for us. You're the so. princess. Yeah, and my mom too. Like basically, I'm looking for a man like Paul Shank. So uh, <laughs> and if you're out there, <laughs> call me. <laughs> I always knew that the way to a man's heart was through his stomach. So what do you do? If you don't cook, what do you do to get your man? I'm not much of a dater. Uh, I'm way too much of a workaholic. So um, usually it just starts off with I just like to be funny and just laugh. If someone can make me laugh, that's like a big in. And so just going out, nice dinners. It's weird to say this, but I like to be the one like in control. And I like to wear the pants. I don't know. I don't like anyone telling me what to do. I think it's just like the moving out really young and being independent thing but uh, I like to pick the place that we're going to and just if I can just do nothing I like going to harbor front and just chilling out there and walking around and going on some boats and stuff center island is my favorite thing to do if we can go have a fun time and laugh then that's pretty much what what I bring my boys to yeah (laughs) so since you are in tv and you also love fashion as we can tell um I wanted to ask you about the Kardashians. How do you feel about Kim Kardashian and Kanye West relationship? My sister and I, um, I actually have weird similarities with the Kardashian family. Like people always compare us because we look similar. I don't really see it. I just think like big eyes, brown girl, black hair. But um, we have three sisters and a little brother, same with their family. So my sister and I, we live together, Melanie. and. Um, we watch the show all the time, like it's our bonding for some reason. That's, we just watch like reality shows. <laughs> and um, there's always like these weird similarities that I find with them. I just think that like through, I don't know her or her relationship really, but through watching the divorce whole thing with like Chris Humphreys, um, it just seemed like it kind of failed because he couldn't keep up to her fame level and it was just like him riding her coattails or whatever. So I think having someone equally as on the same level who loves the fame as much who loves 
fashion and who's been in as much media trouble as in equal parts. I think that they can just be like this power couple and rule the world. <laughs> like I was saying before, I like to be the one who's kind of like the man and like in control, but it seems like they're kind of on equal level, which could, maybe I'll have to do that or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, we're looking for a Kanye West for Melinda Shankar. <laughs> Is that, you heard that? For Kanye West for Melinda Shankar. Kanye, do you have any brothers or anything? No? <laughs> if we want to find out more about you or follow you, where can we do that? At Melinda Shankar on Twitter. I have a Melinda Shankar Facebook official, but pretty much everything's on Twitter. I'm addicted to my phone. It's always in my hand, and our publicist always like has things for us to tweet always. If you want to play-by-play -play on my life and stalk me, Twitter is definitely where you go. Thank you very much. And so... What we do on Christian Confidential is, before we leave, we basically set up a challenge for you. It's called Lip Sync Karaoke Duets. And we want to know, is Melinda Shankar up for the challenge? It might be like 10 a.m., but I just chugged a coffee and I'm always up for a challenge. So, let's do it. Be on my ecstasy, you're the one I 